Sup, y'all, bring you guys another video. This is bring you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Victor Ortiz and Robert Guerrero. They uh, recently fought over in Vegas in the undercard of the Pacquiao versus Ugas fight. This fight between Ortiz and Guerrero was the co feature, the co main event. It was scheduled for 10 rounds and it went the whole 10 rounds with Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Having his hands raised in the end, winning this fight by unanimous decision with all three judges having him winning 96-94. And rightfully so. I thought uh, Robert Guerrero definitely was the winner of this fight, but it was a close fight. I thought it was a lot of back and forth action between the two. Um, and Guerrero was getting the better of uh, a lot of them. But don't get me wrong, Ortiz definitely won some rounds. And... You know, six to four. I, I I agree with it. And leading up to this fight, I think we all can agree that, you know, this fight was a little too late. Um, both fighters are not the same fighter as they used to be, uh, and uh, you know, it's not the same, man. They're just not the same. But with that being said, it it was a pretty entertaining fight. Ortiz gave it his all. I was actually surprised to see Freddie Roach in his car. I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, it, I don't know, man. I just think Ortiz is not the same, even though he's just 34 years old. He's not the same fighter, man. I mean, I feel like the Ghost having fights a couple years ago uh, helped him in this fight. If, if uh, Robert Guerrero stayed inactive like three years, similar to... Victor Ortiz, then maybe the fight would have gone to Victor Ortiz's way. Uh, but I felt like the activity of Ghost definitely helped him prepare for this fight. Um, but yeah, man, it was it was fun. It was a fun fight, but it, it honestly was a meaningless fight. It didn't really mean much. I know Robert said that he's still after a title, but I mean, come on. If you look at the welterweight division, do you honestly think he can beat Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford? You know, Virgil Ortiz or Danis Ugas, can he beat these guys? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what he plans to do. As for Victor Ortiz, man, I think it's time to to retire, man. I think it's definitely time to retire. Victor Ortiz not fighting at all for more than three years. And all of a sudden, here he is. I, I think it's time to retire for Victor Ortiz, so we'll see. We'll see what he plans to do, but definitely retirement for him. Uh, Robert Guerrero, even though he's 38 years old, maybe he's a good test for any of this stuff. Oh, you know who I'd love to see him fight since nobody wants to see him, you know, nobody wants to, to fight him? Jaron Ennis. That's a fight I want to see. Actually, that would be a pretty good fight. Jaron Ennis, Connor Ben. Virgil Ortiz Jr. You know, these young guys. I want to see him against those young guys. None of this old Victor Ortiz type of stuff. So, yeah, I think Robert Guerrero would be a good test for the young guys. And if he can, you know, test them, why not? Why not? So, anyway, good stuff from both guys. Uh, I actually thought... I was I actually thought they were about to score a draw, actually. I think it was that close. But uh, I, if I had to pick one, definitely Robert Guerrero. In my opinion. Anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.